This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I tend my first wingding. I can't tell you how excited I am to be going to Wingding 42. I first heard about this major gold wing event in uh, 2017, right after I joined the GWRA. It looked interesting, but wasn't that excited yet. You see, I started following YouTubers like Memphis Mike and Chris Caliente, and in 2018 they attended Wingding, and through their lenses and the lenses of others I was introduced to, like Carnell Luckett and Brother Cowboy, I decided I needed to attend. I signed up for the 2019 Wingding during during the 2018 event, knowing it was going to be in Nashville as I was living in Oregon. I would figure out how to get there somehow. Little did I know, through some possibly illegal employment policies, my employer at the time, Black and Veatch, that I would lose my job and wind up in Atlanta, having taken the first engineering job I could, I was already signed up for Wingding, but with no money for accommodations, I had to sit this one out. Broken hearted, and I never did sign up for the 2020 Wingding, uh, but that's also part of the pandemic story. Fast forward to 2021, I signed up early in the year, knowing my life was getting back on track, and the likelihood of me attending was high. So with all the baggage of the past two and a half years, I set out on the over 400-mile trip from Nashville, where I now live, to Wingding 42 in Springfield, Missouri. Being a fan of bridges, the highlight of the ride was the two bridges at the Mississippi-Ohio River confluence. I didn't attend with a chapter or anybody else that I knew, and I had no idea what I was doing. I expected registration to be near the door, uh, but there were some signs pointing to the back of the room. Hello, doing well. How are you? Yes, I pre-registered. Okay, let me have your ID and we'll call you back. You want ID? Yeah, you gotta make sure you well, who you say you Oh, are. what if I wanna be somebody else? Your registration. <laughs> Thanks, I think it's are on too. It looks like I am. <laughs> Is that alright? Okay, alright, entered in uh fifty fifty for both the grand and the daily. It's here, I walk right past the main trade show floor, uh, but I just see these people hanging out by a door. I had no idea what was going on, so I just uh, kept going. Jesus. Evidently, there was a newbie pin I should have received, but I didn't learn about it until the closing ceremony. It seems like a newbie pin would be helpful for others to find you and ensure you know what's going on. People have been attending these for decades, and a newbie can feel a bit like an outsider. Until you meet people, then it's like a reunion for an unknown side of the family. There's a lot to say about the trade show. I'll make a separate video. Here's a quick highlight reel. How y'all doing? Red beard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've seen you. I've seen you before, man. How you I've doing, I've seen man? you I've before, seen too. On a Facebook group, I learned that the one and only Tech Savvy Rider was doing a meet and greet with a ride to lunch. I lost track of time and forgot to grab my charger, so I arrived late to lunch with almost dead batteries in my phone. It was great to meet Carnell and the group he shares similar ideas. Just so you know, the Catfish at the Flat Creek restaurant was good, and so was the ride there, and especially back. At Wingding, they evidently do a parade to the location of the bike night. This is where they have the bike show, the bike light show. I have a separate video for the light show, if you're interested. At the parade, we had around 250 bikes, and we rode through town honking and waving. Not everyone was excited to see us, uh, but the kids were. I left the trade show with over an hour before the closing ceremony. I decided I should locate it prior to returning to my hotel room so I'd be able to give myself enough time to get back. But the place was already filling up. 
I was surprised at this and had to ask what was going on, but people were just getting there early. The closing ceremony was uh, a lot like a lot of my experiences at Wingding. The best things happened were not organized. They were because of the people I met. I had some good conversations with a few people. I met the Tennessee District Director, a lady from uh, Tennessee Chapter Y. Also, before everything started, there were people from Alabama passing out flyers for their district rally, and someone uh, from Florida selling their raffle tickets where the grand prize was $10,000. And you don't have to be present to win. I stayed one more night since it was a 8 plus hour ride. I had a restful evening and mapped out a route on US 160. I'll have another video for that. Here are some highlights as I ride with my new butler mug. It worked well and the route was very enjoyable. Now I'm home planning my next trip. I've been invited to ride with someone in Sturgis. I've never been and I'm a little nervous about the event. But excited for the ride and the people I'll meet. This is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.